welcome back to Maxwell Stars Sis and Heist Almighty's Beer Reviews. Speaking about beer guys, we got a bottle of beer that was sent to us by Guy. Beer Guy Reviews from Ottawa area, Ontario. And we are extremely lucky that he got the chance to send us some good beer in the form of Muskoka's Twice as Mad Tom Double IPA. This one, coming in at 8.4% uh, ABV, is um, the sequel. The yeah, this got screen poison. <laughs> However, uh, Fuzz wasn't available here uh, uh, to do this review, so we're going to have this one fresh. So we'll so, spare him. <laughs> we'll However, spare we are reviewing this in the exact same spot we reviewed the original Muskoka that uh, time with Tom IPA uh, over a year ago. So, you know what? Let's take a look at this. They released this one here as a, what is it, winter seasonal? I think it might actually be new full time. New full time? Wow, that's what I hear. Let's see, so the legend of Mad Tom is laden with mystery and intrigue. One thing remains clear, Mad Tom did things his own way. Twice as Mad Tom is an aggressively twice dry hopped Imperial Pale Ale, India Pale Ale, that delivers a definitive hop aroma and an unabashedly big, bold flavor. We brew this beer with the road less traveled in mind and in the spirit of old Mad Tom. We make no bones about it. <laughs> Tis what the maiden proclaimed. Um, Muskoka Brewers, that's in Blackridge, Ontario. Visit MuskokaBrewery.com. Handcrafted with no preservatives. Let's pop the top off of this one and see if uh, Fuzz is glad that he's not here tonight. Can you pour first? <coughs> so a little bit, uh, a little bit darker than the last A little hazy. Oh, yeah, but don't forget this is a double IPA. They're normally yeah. going to be a little yeah. darker. Well, I suppose it's, 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 in the, the last one that I had. Pliny the Elder wasn't that dark. No. It's hazy, but not... I would say it's slightly filtered. It's, it's definitely slightly filtered, but it, it's got some fog to it. Tan-colored head. Kind of almondy, actually. Yeah, a little bit like that. Um, orange body. Orange. Slight mm. haze to it. Slight haze to it, no dregs. And I got the very bottom of the bottle. Right. Yeah, it looks bad. pretty pretty though. Um, yeah, orange amber. Let's give it a sniff. Ooh, very citrusy. Mm. Not as strong as an aroma as I was expecting, but still. It's like flowers and pink grapefruit. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, a little bit of malt in there. Lots of grapefruit. Yeah, sweet caramel malt in the back. Oh, that's the, it's got the smell of a beautiful um, East Coast uh, double. That's that's really nice. Ooh, I love that. I mean, a hint of pine in there. All right, yours? Cheers. Thanks, Guy. Ooh. And even the taste, the, the smell really carries into the taste even a little bit. And that's not always common. It's got this nice, uh, it's a, it's, it's almost borderline full body, somewhere between mid and full. The hops linger in there in the back and they taste uh, like floral and citrusy. Yep. Uh, there's a little bit of caramel malt poking up in there, maybe not quite as much as I'd want, but I'm spoiled. Cause see, I found <laughs> I found the once is mad Tom um, to be almost too candy sweet, and this thing is more aggressively hopped than Definitely. than the once, and the, the twice comes in hoppier, it's and I think it actually holds up to the sweetness better than than the yeah. single did. Very much so, yes. I would. Uh, I would that. say that this actually is is better balanced, strangely, than the than the single version of this. Mm. To me, this is actually a really nice. That's a double. Yeah, it is. Leaves a little bit of lingering earthiness to it. Yeah. Now, normally earthy uh, IPAs are not my favorite, but this this just managed to hit the right balance between sweetness and earthy. Well, I can see why he almost didn't send this to us. <laughs> wow. This yeah, I really, asked Ryan for really one. Beautiful. I asked Ryan for one, and mysteriously none came with my package. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite sure I'm going to get an explanation for that, but... Yeah, well, you know, well, at think, least you didn't miss out. Yeah. And chances are you've already found your explanation. And yeah, I think well, I may have just found it. It's a whopper at 8.4%, and really, that, you don't taste the booze at all. No, this is... That's really well made. Yeah, I think I'd have, I, I'm going to have to say that this is possibly my new favorite Ontario IPA. Mmm. I gotta say, that's one of the best Canadian IPA, double IPAs I've ever had. That's really, really good. This puts the Super Collider to all kinds of shame. Well, the Super Collider's not hard to beat, really. It's just basically hot bomb. But even compared to, we had a chance, they haven't reviewed it, but we had a chance to try Screaming Beaver from Bose, and I think this one even gives it a run. Yeah, I'd say that, uh, yeah, this is probably gonna put the Screaming Beaver in the basement down to shame. Yeah, definitely, and I, I hope the Muskoka expands their lineup, because that's an excellent double IPA. 
I'm gonna uh, go four and a quarter. Four and a quarter? I wanna give it four point five. Is it worth that? I don't know. That's up to you, man. What do you think? See, I like it. I don't quite like it. It's very good. It's definitely a good uh, double IP, uh, double IPA. Um, I haven't had much, as much experience with double IPAs as you do, but I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna give it a four because, in my opinion, it, it doesn't quite hold a candle to the last double IPA I had. Wasn't that funny? Yeah. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. F comparing things to Pliny is not fair at all. But, you know, there are some qualities to it that do remind me of playing, but I find that, that lingering earthiness kind of knocks it down slightly. Yeah, down. that's that's why I say 4. I'm going to go with 425. I'm going to settle on 425, just because, I mean, it's great. It's an actually a it's... really good Canadian I double IPA, and thanks, Guy. Everybody check thanks, out Guy. Beer, Beer Guy's reviews. He does a decent job, and uh, he's fairly new at it, so he's getting his name out. do recommend you, you hunt over down in the link below and uh you know check out his channel because he's, he's really good and gets a lot more stuff than we do because uh, he lives so close to bruja and we live in safe john you found yeah we live in but bf nowhere <clears throat> even if all you could do was walk to the lcbo you'd still probably be doing better than us <laughs> what he said anyway so thank you for watching maxwell stories beer review of muskoka's twice as mad tom double ipa thank you for watching we'll talk to you folks later cheers